What's up everybody? So today is the 7th, 2-7-2012 and uh, continuing on the rustic um, you can see here where I put the fingernail polish in the spots that needed it um, you can see the little pink spots everywhere and that's where um, some of this did not transfer I think this was my first one it was really bad um, so continuing on let's go ahead and dump this I have here a one gallon ice cream bucket and I'm going to take this board here's a fingernail polish I used by the way I believe it was my daughter's it doesn't really matter take this uh, solution no idea if I'm supposed to shake it up this is uh, etching solution from Radio Shack and I'm just gonna pour it in here pretty much the end of that I'm just gonna cover the board try not to waste this stuff and uh, last time I did this I just covered the board and it took a while because I didn't really have that much etching solution so this time looks like I used about uh, this much of my jar or my container here which wasn't really bad so I'm gonna start a timer and uh, boop I'll let you know how long this takes I'm not gonna do intermissions like I did last time I'm just going to let it go now if I had a little sloshing machine a sloshing machine that's an interesting one then uh, this would go faster so I'll show you when it's done here we go 43 minutes and uh, looks like we're done looks really good to me so I'm going to actually take this and rinse it off and uh, show you what it looks like and there you go so I went from copper clad board to etched circuit board really not that much work um, there is a better way of doing this this is the sort of old-fashioned way you can do this with light and uh, printing this on a clear sheet inducing light onto a uh, another sheet put some chemicals on there and it'll do the same thing I personally don't mind this method and do not have the tools to do the other method so I'll use this one for now you can see where the purple fingernail polish see it's clear you can see where I put it and you can see everywhere I didn't put it such as that little spot I have no idea if I can zoom in on that see that little spot next to U11 where it's not supposed to be you can see how it went through there but here where I coated it worked out just well so now it's time to uh drill some holes again one way you can take this toner off same way you took it off the first time when I screwed up all right so there you go it's not as nice as what Kevin made but it's going to do the job now you can see in a place such as this where I put the uh, fingernail polish let's see right there right there where I put the fingernail polish I'll have to go back and make sure those aren't touching and kind of go through the whole thing like that but this method proves to be affectionate it's really not that expensive and you can do it at home cool beans continuing holes Hey, what's up everybody? Um, so, it is the 10th, 2-10, 2012, and uh, we're ready to start drilling some holes. So, what we're going to do is, what I've done here I should say, is I've gotten a block of wood, okay? You definitely want this block of wood. It helps drill cleaner holes. You don't blow through the back that way. 
<clears throat> and then um, these miniature drill bits, I've actually bought these at uh, Harbor Freight. Okay, they come in uh, two two packages for I don't know five ten bucks. I don't remember. It's been a long time, and uh, I'm just gonna pick a reasonable size one here, and uh, have at it. So let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, just for pure sake of people who do not have a drill press, you can use a Dremel. Put that bit in that Dremel. And uh, just, and actually I've done that uh, on my last uh, circuit board. The other thing that Kevin did, Kevin Williamson, was took a drill like this and um, <clears throat> mounted it to a metal bent plate. <clears throat> and then um, mounted that to a baseboard. And he just uh, would tie the trigger on probably and just, okay, so you can use a regular drill, you just have to make a jig for that. Um, I am going to use the drill press this time. I think it will actually be easier. So here we go. Alright, I've got this set at a decently high speed. Um, matter of fact, almost all the way up. So, I'll just have at it. Start. Alright. So, there you go. All of the uh, holes are drilled and uh, turned out real well. Bring it to another light here and show you. All right, so there you go. That didn't take too much time. You can see my white shirt in there. But anyway, um, so next video will actually be components. I don't know how much I'm going to actually videotape of actual component like placement and soldering. Might do a little, but uh, might not. So that's how you etch a circuit board. This is the Rustic Frequency Generator 7.0. And, uh, yeah. Kevin Williamson. Russell Grease. There you go. Peace out, homie G's. Um, take care. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Bye.